Welcome everyone to another night of Cat After Dark. And tonight we're going to talk about dealing with coordination drawings from other disciplines such as landscape drawings, structural plans, architectural plans. How do I deal with all of that without putting it into my base drawing that's being attached to other sheets? So typically I always tell people don't attach those files because then you get, you're dealing with all those extra layers. How do I handle that? So tip, it's simple. Actually, I'll cut a blank drawing, okay? I will then send my base to the architect. They will align up their base, their actual building pad with my drawing. They'll send their architectural drawing back with the base. And then I'll overlay that over this drawing. So for example, here I start with a blank drawing. I attach my original base in here as an overlay. Then I attach that architectural drawing into this drawing. It's already in the right reference. It's already in the right location. Um, they've actually scaled it down. Now, if they didn't scale it down, they just sent me the building actual footprint. Of course, I'll have to scale it down correctly uh, per one of their dimensions. And then I'll have to rotate it and put it in the location of my base. Okay, then I'll do the same thing with the landscape drawings. I will take that drawing and overlay it over this uh, base. I will take the structural plans and overlay it over this base here. Then I can easily identify locations where things are not lining up. So for example, I attach this architectural base. I zoomed in, notice that the building is a little off here. I keep zooming in. And what I did is I went to my layer manager <clears throat> and went to that architectural base and changed all the colors to like a magenta color so I can easily see what doesn't line up. So I actually put that architectural drawing behind my civil. So if I see purple, that means that um, something's missing in my base drawing. So my civil's sitting on top of this architectural drawing. Of course, my civil doesn't have all these wall thickness and stuff like that, but I look at the outer limits. So you can see here, there's, there's something that's not aligned here. As I zoom into the building corners, and I can tell the architect, hey, uh, your building is a little off here based on my civil base. I look for right here, there's a missing door. I don't have it on my civil drawing, but he actually has an architectural drawing. So this is a good way to uh, quickly identify uh, things that have been revised on the architectural drawings or their structural drawings or even the landscape drawings. And then I'll do an end copy, copy that new base. Maybe they've changed the revision of that building footprint. I'll do an end copy and then copy that into my my civil base okay so I, I create this and call it a master base file and that's the place where i attach different drawings see i don't want to do that in my civil drawing base because if i attach it now i just made the drawing much bigger hopefully if somebody attaches it they didn't attach it as a, a regular attachment it's an overlay so but this is just a quick way of what i do to uh, verify if things are lining up when you're working with other disciplines. And that was just my tip. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for watching Cat After Dark at DFW BIM Infrastructure User. Thanks.